What is going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fish and Grubs. Today, today we're going to be looking at a couple of soft plastics under the water. Now one of them you've already seen uh, in a bunch of my videos, that Crazy Critter by Euro Tackle. We got that in the Monster Bass Ice Box, the last one. And uh, I must say I'm very impressed with them. So today we're going to try out a different one. I actually tried it out a couple days ago, but the water was so muddy couldn't see a darn thing on the camera so I didn't really I couldn't really see what was going on now I just put the aqua view down and I stirred up the bottom luckily this water source is pretty clear you can already kind of see that the water starting to clear up there's a layer of snow all over the ice so it is a little bit darker down there than normal and if we can get them riled up in this hole I'm gonna put the shack up right here uh, if not we're gonna bounce around looking at this Euro Grub more than anything today. Now what I did the last time I used it and what I'm gonna do again today is because the jig head is so small we're gonna bite this soft plastic and give it a little chompity chomp. I'm not gonna use the whole thing right now and we'll do that later. So we're gonna kind of find out where we want it on the little jig head. We're gonna bite it Spit that into the sled and put this on here as a trailer. And that's what that's going to look like. So let's get it down there, tip with a mealworm. And behind that, we're going to use another monster bass lure, the blade bait that came in the ice box. So we're going to try and call some fish in with the blade bait. It's noisy, it's shiny, and then either hook them on that if they're big or hook them with the tungsten. Let's do this. Oh my god. April zombie. Is he gonna go for it? It's a decent sized one, guys. Oh my god, a bigger one. Oh my god. That was immediate. <laughs> oh man. That was so cool. Oh my God, literally moments after dropping this thing down. I had two of them on the screen. Just a little guy, but oh my God, that was so cool. I think the other one's gone now. Just, we just dropped down there. I was moving the camera around to find the jig. Hammered it. This guy came out of no, I was like, why is this other one being so hesitant? And then all of a sudden this guy shows up on the Euro tackle. That was so cool. All right, let's get him back down in there. Oh, that was dope. Wow. Oh my god. 
and he's still there. Oh, it's a gill. It's a gilly. I've already seen a bunch of fish. drop this blade bait down and see if we can't uh, get something with that too. Another pickerel. He's coming after the jig. Is he gonna hit? <laughs> Is he gonna hit? Is he gonna hit anything? He's out of here. This is like the coolest thing ever. Just watching him hunt. He's out of here. He's had enough. That's, he probably was the one that watched his buddy go bye bye. Yes. Got him. Did I get him? I got him. Oh, he's wrapped up in the dew, sir. Yeah, you, 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 you gotta give me that back, bud. That's my soft plastic. Nice, beautiful gill. Again, on the same thing. He wrapped us around the camera cable, though. Let's get him back. And then I found the jig. And then he was staring at it for a while. And then a bass just came in. He's looking at the lipless, or the... Oh, he's going away. Bass went away. So I didn't want to have to drill more holes, but that pickerel was hanging around for way too long and just basically uh, blocking us off from other fish. So what we did was we drilled a few more uh, holes in a couple different spots. And we're gonna bounce around a little bit. The pickerel is gone now that I got back, thank goodness. Maybe we'll draw in some other fish. So I'll give this hole 10, 15 minutes and then we're moving. Saw a pickerel while dropping down on this hole. I don't know if that's a good sign. Another pickerel on me immediately. Little dude. So annoying.
got him. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Right in the damn snoot. Right in the damn snoot. His buddy in the background. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, bud. Whoa! Look at the size of that pumpkin seed. Becca, it's a giant for a pumpkin seed. Absolutely. All right, little bud. Peace. God damn. Oh, he came off. That was so sick. What is going on today? A fucking bluegill coming up on me. <laughs> Size of this pumpkin seed. Holy shit. Too busy messing around with the goddamn camera. That was a monster. Oh, it came off right at the freaking hole, little turd. Oh, <laughs> you son of a bitch. These pickerel are. Fat. Holy fat gill. That's a big boy. Oh, whole pack. Whole pack again. We gotta get this guy back. We got a whole pack down there. He's a monster.
decent fast. No. No. old I had some kid comment on my video the other day uh, that Beck and I were fakers because we were getting excited over bluegill <laughs> it's like yo some people like we are all different fishermen some of us get excited for all fish uh, I am one of them pickerel not so much but on the jig I even get excited for them I don't even care Especially on the aqua view, I'm like, I just want to see these fish bite. Like, get lost, bro. Go comment on somebody else's video. Nobody likes you. You're a naysayer. Oh, We're starting to run low ski on the meal skis. Whoa, what was that? It's about time to move spots. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video today, but only halfway through the day. Um, at this moment, we're pretty much out of mealworms and I need to go to the store to get some. And when I get back, I sit with Becca and we start slaying fish together for the rest of the day. So that's gonna be Thursday's video. So tomorrow's gonna be a quick review on the 13 fishing rod that I'm using with the blade bait. And then on Thursday, you'll get the second half of this crazy, uh, underwater camera filled adventure with Becca and I. We're having way too much fun with that stupid thing. It was, uh, it was so much fun. So guys, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell as well. We're dropping videos every single weekday. I will catch you tomorrow. Fish out. Okay. I'm just gonna film with a squint for the rest of my life. Yeah. What am I doing here? Hey! Joey, huh? What am I doing here? Wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithm. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push up lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on the bigger banquets. This that full circle, new wave, energy on a Tuesday.